guys. I am speechless. Hi everyone, Miles Gamer Live here, and today I am speechless. I was playing my world, and in my village I found this ravine in the village. I went down it, and then even deeper, it had a deeper ravine, and guess what I found? You guessed it. Diamonds. I wish I had Optifine on, but I made this world in the snapshots, so I can't zoom in. But look at those glorious babies. We failed to claim these last episode, but now, in spite of them, we found it. And if you're wondering, yes, I am doing it on peaceful. I will. This is the only rule that I have that's kind of like. It's kind of a weird rule. You're. I'm gonna be allowed to put peaceful mode on if I want to, but not for too long. I can't have. So the only times that I can put peaceful mode on is if. Um, there's a bunch of mobs around me and I'm about to die, or if I'm mining. Those are the two, two reasons, there's going to be two ways that I can do it. But in any other situation, like if I get out of that situation, I have to immediately turn it back off. Well, if there's, if there's like too many mobs that I know I can't handle, then, then I'll turn peaceful mode on. Collected this water, so let's do this. Away. This lava is gonna be the reason why this, our diamonds are gonna get ruined. Okay, got a plan. <laughs> water in there. And it's been so long since I found diamonds in legit Minecraft. Truth is, I don't really look for them because I kind of don't like diamonds. But in this case, I know I'm going to need them for like the Ender Dragon if I want to defeat him. So I have to put my hatred on diamonds behind and use them. My own personal game. Wait for this lava to drain out and prepare for it to be really dark because it's going to get dark. This lava, it brings a lot of light, and once all that light is taken away, become super dark. Here these babies are. Hey look, a little bat has come to join us. Hey little fella. I'm gonna call you Bobby. Bobby the Bat. I might not remember you, but you will be remembered in my comic section. You know what? I'm gonna make a thing for Bobby because he celebrated me finding diamonds with me.
Make sure if diamonds spawn above lava that you get all the lava that's around them out. And always break around the diamonds to see how many you get and to see if they're under lava or not. And wait, we could actually get go to the nether today. Yep, we could go to the nether today. Hey, don't be glitching out on me right now. I do not need any um, glitching. Ooh. Yes. Pretty sure we got four diamonds. I got 27 hits. Let's break these babies. Oh. Wish I could take this. Oh, I could take it out. Diamonds! Got diamonds, boys. We got diamonds. <laughs> Just to think that last time we spent so long trying to find these puppies, we finally have them. First things first, let's make a diamond pick. And let's break this obsidian. It'll take a while. Hopefully there's no lava under it. Appears to be none. But just, just because something appears to be, doesn't mean it is. Ice bucket challenge. Ah, should take so long to mine this. We need 14. Not for just the end portal, but also for the enchantment table. We need 10 for the... Why did I say end portal? A uh, nether portal. We need 10 for the nether portal. And then 4 for an enchantment table if we ever find diamonds again. Which we probably will if we are dedicated enough. Maybe, who knows, there might even be more diamonds in this mine. But right now, we're going to be focused on going to the nether. That's right, babies, we're going to the nether. Okay, now that's under lava. If my mic quality sounds a little bit low today, it's probably because I don't have my headphones in, but I'm going to go grab them soon. would have 10 if that one didn't burn. And the bad thing about obsidian is that it's the same color as the cracks, so you can barely tell when it's almost about to crack. If you look really hard, then you can see it, but like if you're like up close to it then you can see it but if you aren't really paying attention it feels like it takes forever mm -hmm. 
Up and done. Okay, let's get this crafting table. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna keep it here. I have a crafting table at my house and out of other places. Okay, here's the tough part. <coughs> Getting back. Mind, it's not tough anymore. The engine is so fast now. That's that little lava puddle I made. And there's a big lava fall right here, explaining all of the cobblestone. And guess what happened? So I put a piece of wood to get up to this place, because there's also a mine shaft. Um, I placed a piece of wood. And lava flowed all the way down here above this wood. And then when I drained all the lava, this wood was miraculously still there. Like, that's a pretty tough piece of wood. As you can see, there's more of that mine shaft. We could probably find more... <coughs> diamonds if we wanted to, but right now, we're just focused on getting to the nether. I really wanted to get to the nether so I could get some quartz and make an, obs an observer, because observers it's going to help us make our little sheep farm that we tried to make in one episode. Right. We need an observer, and observers need quartz. Oh! Hey, little buddy! You're stuck! Oh, little fox got stuck down here. This is the little water pillar I made to get back up. And when I see water over here, that, that is the ravine that we can try to find diamonds in. So this is our little village that we lived here. If you haven't seen it, it's a fox sleeping. So we're at our house right now. And it's time to get to the little portal. We're gonna put. Okay, first, before we do anything, let's put the four obsidian in here. What special block should we use for the corners? I'd like to do gold in the corners, but actually, could we do that? So, 4 times 9 equals 30... 36. That would take a lot of our gold. So, I'm not going to do that. We're just going to do the classic cobblestone and... Until we get a flashier block, then we'll place that for the corners. And we're going to put our nether portal over there to make some more use for that um, bridge that we made. It's kind of an ugly bridge. We might have to fix that. So this was, this was our little sheep farm that we tried to make. But now... You know what? Let's make a pedestal for this. So we're going to need stone slabs and probably um, some smooth stone. Wait, do we have a stone cutter in our village? If not, then let's just craft one. stone cutter. Uh, I don't know how to craft a stone cutter. Okay, where's our furnace? Okay, our 
this is over here. Let's use that. We have a stone cutter in our village. And now we have a grindstone. I think all the job places we have, we have um, a barrel, a farmer, a co well, composter, a cartography table, which I made in my house, um, a lectern, which um, I took from the library from the library so I can have a librarian in my house. We have a stone. And, and we have a loom as well. Okay, I do have my phone so I could look it up. I want this accomplishment to feel special. That's why I'm going out of my way to make a pedestal for this. Oh, now we can make the stone cutter. I just saw it. We can make the stone cutter now. Stone. And we can make it right now. Stone cutter. Oh, that was pretty simple, actually. You just need smooth stone and some iron. We have a stone cutter, baby. Stone cutter. I don't know what that was. But we got stone cutter and... I think we could turn smooth stone into this. Okay. I want to make these. I want to make um, stone brick walls. Not stone brick walls. Stone brick. And then make stone brick stairs and slabs for our pedestal. Maybe even chiseled for what the... Wait, we could put chiseled in the corners. Yeah, let's put chiseled in the corners. Okay, so we're gonna need four chiseled. It's like the first time in a long time that I've had an idea to make something flashy in my world. So we're going to have one row of stairs going up, and then um, there are going to be four blocks on the bottom, because there's four blocks on the bottom of the nether portal, and then there's going to be slabs around it. This is going to be awesome once we can make it. I feel like four is appropriate for the first row of stairs. We might have to continue this project tomorrow because it's getting sundown. That's not centered. There we go. I think that looks better. Yeah, okay. We're gonna have to continue this tomorrow. So while that smooth stone is cooking up, let's go to sleep. Hi, Reds. Hi, Pups. Hi, Zoc. Redzum. That's your name. Redzum. Because you're red 
and you fight zombies. Let's go. So, go. That's a weird noise. We're gonna need ten slabs because there's gonna be it's gonna be around a one by four a one by four thing. So we're gonna need ten. As our little substitute blocks. Making a video, and I just found diamonds, and I made a I made a video right away when I found them. Sprite, you got Sprite. Ah. Right. Yeah, but it might be, you might have to turn it down a uh, bit, because probably got to get heard in the stream, not stream, video. So once we get these leaves out of here, we make our pedestal for another portal. Huh? Yeah. Uh, I'm using. OBS to record it. No, there's no camera. I don't have a face cam. I'm just recording the screen. Because I don't know how to put my face cam on here yet. miscalculated how many slabs we need because there's also an amount we need for the corners so that means we just need four more We're almost done, so we just need these in the corner. This. Dang it. Oh. 
Okay. So, sh I think we should make these. You know what? We're gonna make these two slabs stairs instead. Okay, let's gonna we're gonna make these stairs. So ha ha I like that design. So now we can actually get up to our nether portal. So we need one, two, three. Chisel. One, two, three. Chis chisel. And then one, two. Let's look at it. Oh, that's cool. I wish I could zoom in, but I can't. Let's look at it from here, actually. Oh, yeah, that's cool. So we're just going to need... We're going to need a... Oh, yeah. A stuff from here. There we go. That's our pedestal. For some reason, it doesn't feel centered, but it is. And now, all we have to do is light it. But, we need flint. I don't know if we have flint. Let me check out my chest. Do a little bit of stuff organized. Yeah, we need flint. Let's make a shovel. Of course, not with our one diamond. Because that would just be stupid. That if we had more than just one diamond. But we're going to save this diamond for when we're making a crafting table. I haven't been using my AFK fishing farm. I'm going to start using it. Well, soon, so we can get some enchantments. Because if you didn't know, you could actually fish up enchantment books. If your fishing rod has luck of the sea, then you get you get a big chance to um, fish it up. So we're gonna need to find some gravel. Get flint out of it. Okay, there's gravel at the bottom of the sea, but it takes a while to mine because you're underwater. Get fast. Oh yeah, that's right, I gotta turn peaceful mode off. We got flint, we got flint. We have struck it flint. Get out of my face, dirt. We got flint. You can make a fletching table. We got flint. We got steel. That makes a flint and steel. 
once we spark these two together, it creates fire. But we're saving that for the end por nether portal. I don't know how many times I've accidentally called it end portal in this video. And you can see it from over there. We're gonna have to get to our house because since I turned it, since I turned peaceful mode off, that means we're going to have to go to sleep. <coughs> but we're not gonna go to sleep till we light this thing up. And, and actually, it's gonna be cooler if we see it in, in the nighttime. Awesome fire. Look at our beautiful nether portal. Time to light it. In three, two, one. Whoa! This is awesome. This is probably the best build I've made in survival mode. Well, on Java Edition, I probably made a, a cooler build in on me. On PS4, because I've been playing PS4 for a long time. This is cool. I like that. So this is our nether portal. I built it all the way on this island, because not only have we not used this island for much, it also, if I were to put it too close to my house, it'd be pretty noisy. So that is our nether portal. I'm taking a screenshot of that. Hopefully, I can use it as the thumbnail. So there, there it is. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please leave a like down below. Also, subscribe. And if you want to see more J Play series, you make make sure to do what I just said. Hit the like bell. Hit the like bell. Well, bye everyone, Miles Gamer.